morning everybody. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but today we're going over and install a right angle filter rack um, on a furnace that was installed about three or four months ago. And I didn't put it in. I did go over and do a startup for uh, on it. Somebody else uh, uh, put the system in, but they it's a 16 seer communicate and it was um, not beyond them, but they wasn't comfortable with with doing a startup on it. So I went over and and uh, did the startup, and he called me the other day. The homeowner did and asked me if uh, if I could come over and. and do a little gas pipe and then figure out how to uh, uh, how to figure out how to get a good filter in there and I explained to him that we could do uh, uh, I could do some sheet metal work and get a filter in but it, it actually needs a, a good filter because he wasn't getting he wasn't getting enough airflow through the uh, hole in the furnace I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a little bit it's the turn, so kind of back up and turn around. Turn right. <clears throat> but uh, but we'll see it here in a few minutes. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that. Let's see it better from back here, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna take this out. Uh, relo relocate that. He he added that because it wasn't making a or it was making a lot of noise so he added another return to it so we're going to relocate that up there and uh, uh but anyway that's our our goal is to get rid of this this piece here and stick that side angle box in you'll see what i'm talking about and do a little sheet metal transition uh you know we'll get it done Okay, one reason this was a kind of a, it's not an emergency to change, but they, what they did is they took the old train furnace's filter and uh, put it in there. Uh, and it kept pulling loose because it didn't have a real, a real good way to uh, uh, hold it in place. So that is the purpose of having that filter. Uh, 90 degree filter installed, but anyway, we'll get this. Uh, I got the old duck out. There it is. Go out the truck and get the the new one. Get everything set in place, and do my sheet metal work. Okay, so I've got the filter box down here, and this is it. Uh, this particular box gives you the ability to. Um, put a put a door on either side uh, in this case he's got an expansion tank right there that you won't be able to pull the filter out um, so we're gonna have to put the door on the back and so this side here has got a panel that you can just slip into place put it in from the top and then uh, slide it in place but and here's the filter that we're gonna that goes in it and this is the one inch filter that used to be in there so it's quite a bit difference going from that filter to that so and this uh, filter box came with this uh, this piece right here you can move it so I've opened it all the way up by taking this screw this screw here, screw here, screw there, and another screw over there. Unscrewed them, moved it all the way to where we get the most amount of air in there as possible. And then when I get everything in place and sealed up with mastic, mastic and tapes over there, um, then we'll do the sheet metal work and get this thing running. But it was making a lot of noise uh, trying to suck air in from. Uh, uh, I'll show you on this filter on this box right here the drop box see they've had this so the actual opening of the filter was here and then they had it blocked off here 
so it was it wasn't pulling enough air in so uh, but anyway uh, we'll get back to it all right as you can see I've got the box mounted there um, got it sealed up with mastic on from the inside um, I've taped it all even though I didn't really need to tape I still taped it just because um, just because because I could um, and now you see I got a gap there so I'm gonna start actually getting my measurements and start doing my sheet metal work but you see I've got some uh, transitioning to do so um, back here back so, so yeah so we'll we'll get it and uh, see that. got it sealed up inside there and so we'll get it when I'm done it'll look like it was meant to be here so anyway let me go get working measurement doing my measurements and go get the sheet metal out start cutting it up all right so I've got the first piece uh, in there the first transition piece I'm going to work on this um, on the left hand side um, fixing measure it and go out there and cut it and uh, then it'll start taking shape but anyway that's uh, where I'm at now first piece is done okay so as you can see from my workspace down here I don't have that much room to do the layout so we'll walk out here and show you where my workstation is look outside in the driveway with the landscapers and as you can see start off with a flat piece of metal and all my stuff is done right here in the field so um, that's my first um, where I measure for my first um, inside piece and that'll be my outside piece there uh, they're exactly the same except for the length is a little different the total length or the height on the first one is 11 to 7 eighths plus a one inch for the top head slot and three quarter for the flange on the filter and uh, the outside piece is going to be 10 and 7 eighths with the one inch slip at the top uh, for the S-lock and three quarter inch flange at the so I'll get this one laid out and cut out and then uh, I'll use my tailgate to do the cross break and uh, then we'll uh, go back inside and put it in all right, so I got my other side piece on. Now I got a measure, um, and let's see. Here's how we're gonna. Here's how we'll measure it. I've first, got to measure across the, here to get that measurement, which is uh, 12 inches. So you see, I'm not going all the way up to the top of the S lock because I've already taken account for that. But you got 12 inches from there, and you got. 11 inches there so from from the top of this flange you got 11 inches okay then what you do is you measure from there to there and you get at ah, 10 and 3 eighths so uh, it's 10 and 3 eighths plus another um, uh, 3 quarter inch so and then you get another, then you measure the, the one inch flange. Okay, here's uh, how you, here's how I measured for the thing. Um, I took that two by four right there to there and I measured from the top of the flange and I got two and five eighths. And then I came up here and I got six and three, or five and three quarter from that two by four to so as long as you have as long as you have this measurement here and this measurement here 
then you can get the rest of it. So really you just need a couple measurements. You need from here to here, from the top of the flange to the bottom of the edge lock. You need the total measurement from here to here, and then the total measurement from here to here, and then you need a, a starting point. You could use a furnace up here as a starting point, and then here to get your measurement. I just use the 2x4, um, but you can do either way you want to. Uh, so I got that measurement done. I'll go cut it and then come and bring it in and, and put it in. Alright, so I got the uh, back side piece, or the back piece put on. And, uh, nah, good, you can see it, but see it's cross broke and and uh, I wish I had more room so you could see everything, but it almost looks like it was made to be there. But uh, I'm going to walk around the front and get the front put on, and uh, we'll be done with it. Put the doors and get it taped up and you know, see what it looks like at the end. Alright, so I got the final piece on. Uh, all I gotta do now is just taper up and uh, put the doors on, put the filter in, put the doors on, and then uh, uh, cut in that duck in the back. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Nice, nice transition. Um, so there's no, no panning off of any corners or any gaps or anything like that everything's sealed up um, just a good job but I'm kind of biased since I'm the one that did it all right so we got our filter in got it all taped up you can see I uh, got our filter in slides out like this the arrows going towards the towards the furnace uh -oh. And then you got your door. You just put it in like this from the, like that. And now it's in place. So anyway, that is pretty much how you put in a 90 degree uh, uh, filter box or air cleaner. So, um, can a homeowner do it? I would say mm, I wouldn't suggest a homeowner do it, just because of um, of the transitioning. If you're comfortable with doing sheet metal work, knock yourself out. But um, it should really be professionally installed, um, because there's so many other little things that go into it that that I didn't show you um, I just went ahead and did them without without having it on video it's just uh but if you want to attempt doing it you can do it and if you can't do it um, get halfway into it and say well I can't do this and you do have have the choice to call a professional and do it but if it doesn't look like this one then you really should, um, uh, it really needs to look like this one once it's done. But anyway, that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, poke a hole in that duck so I can attach this one. And then we'll be done. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.